given a line passing through negative 7 comma negative 13 and 5 comma negative 9, A, which of the following is the correct slope of the line, and B, what is the slope? Notice how if we plot these two points on the coordinate plane, for the point negative 7 comma negative 13, from the origin we would go left 7 units and down 13 units. So this is the point negative 7 comma negative 13, for the point 5 comma negative 9, from the origin we go right 5 units and down 9 units. So our goal is to find the slope of the line passing through these two points, which is the slope of the red line. The slope of a line is equal to the ratio of the rise to the run, which is given by the ratio of the change of y to the change of x. Notice how the line is slanted upward from left to right, and therefore we know the slope is positive. To find the vertical change or change of y, we need to find the difference of the y coordinates, and to find the horizontal change or change of x, we need to find the change in the x coordinates. So to keep things organized, let's call this ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one, and this ordered pair x sub two comma y sub two. And now we can use the slope formula to find the slope of the line. So we'd have the slope m is equal to y sub two minus y sub one is negative nine minus negative 13 divided by x sub two minus x sub one is five minus negative seven. Simplifying, negative nine minus negative 13 simplifies to negative nine plus 13, which is positive four. And five minus negative seven simplifies to five plus seven, which equals 12. And four twelfths simplifies to one third. Now looking at our question again, notice how our slope formula matches this first choice here for m. And we also know the slope is positive one third. But I do want to mention that we did not have to label this ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one. We could have labeled this x sub two comma y sub two and this ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one. So let's also do this to see that we get the same results. So we'll label this ordered pair x sub two comma y sub two, this ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one. So using the same slope formula, we have m equals y sub two minus y sub one is now negative 13 minus negative nine, and x sub two minus x sub one is negative seven minus five. Simplifying, negative 13 minus negative nine simplifies to negative 13 plus nine, which is negative four, and negative seven minus five equals negative 12. Notice negative four divided by negative 12 also simplifies to positive one-third. Going back to the question one last time though, notice how the formula for m is not shown in this form, and therefore this is the only correct form of the slope. And then finally before we go, because we now know the slope, we now know the ratio of the rise to the run, or the ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change. Which means if we go to any point on the line, go up one unit and right three units, we should be at another point on the line. So for example, if we start at this point here, go up one unit, remember the vertical axis is scaled by two, so we went up one unit and then right three units. Notice how we are on another point on the line. I hope you found this helpful.